Hello and welcome to another Raggy's Beer Review. Um, Friday night and uh, it's literally been five days now since we went over to Doc's Beers. We had a great time while we was there. Anyway, I felt like drinking something nice ABV wise. Although I've got to be careful because um, I got a bollocking last night. I got a yellow card last night, a good yellow card. No. So anyway, this is from Doc's Beers. This is there, and obviously the red card's somewhere around. Yeah, it's somewhere. It's probably hiding at the moment. Uh, probably that's a good thing. <laughs> so yeah, sipping on a Doc's IPA, 7.4%. The good fellow I talked to in the tap room recommended this beer. In fact, he bought me a small sample, and that I did a, min a minute review of. Um, uh, you know, only in, uh, just a sample because I, I was driving, so I couldn't really drink too much. So here. A perfect beer for watching the tide roll away. The first sip of this West Coast IPA is like the opening chords of a classic song. Its malt profile provides a solid rhythm with a touch of caramel sweetness that sets the stage for a dry hop solo. Dank flavours are the baseline, adding an undertone of resinous pine to the melody of citrus and spice notes. Bitterness builds to a crescendo, leaving you longing for the next sip. Sounds bloody amazing. And obviously, obviously, I've not had a beer all day. Um, I've just done neon 12-hour shift. Uh, you know, it's got to be done, isn't it? You know, you've got to put pennies in, Kitty. So, in my little Doc's beer glass. Look at that. I wanted the half pint glass. Lovely tropical aroma on opening. And there we go. Looks the classic uh, West Coast style. Um, to me, it's got like a golden colour. On you know the light, it's very difficult to know sometimes the true colour. Um, nice white head, nice bit of sporadic carbonation going off. And cheers. <sighs> Tropical nose with a hint of pine on the nose. Anyway, I'm ready. Let's go. Ooh. Tropical fruit, pine, slight bit of resin. Oh, that's a belly warming. Cracker. You know, if you're near the Grimsby area, you've got to get yourself some of their beers. You've got to go over and visit that tap room. I think it's called the Church. Um, obviously, I didn't really know anything about Doc's beers before, and obviously, I'd read up and um, and obviously said I was going. And I, d I do these things on new t on social media. You know, it's a nice way of be just promoting them, you know. Saying, like, I'm going there, you know, see if anybody else is going. Promotes conversation. And in some ways, that's what the beer reviews are about, aren't they? It's about the beer. And any topics that you bring up in the conversation, in, 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 in the, you know, in the review. I mean, today I've been at work today. And I've got to admit, I've had a cracking day. Met two people at work who I didn't even know were working there. All of a sudden, this woman comes out and says, Hello, I'm... I don't know what her name was. <laughs> I'm such and such. I'm the head head uh, house... Head, uh, head of cleaning. I'm like, all right. Good for you. <laughs> don't care. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you work here, you work here. I don't care if you call yourself the head of something. Um, it did make me chuckle. It did. I mean, technically, my job is head gardener. But when people ask me, what, what's your, what do you do? I'm the gardener. And um, put the fancy label on, on what you do. It's not really who I am anyway. But it was funny. She's a nice woman anyway. And uh, and then they said, this lad was there. And uh, I'm not quite sure where he, where he bats for. Uh, if he's just a trendy lad or, or yeah. But uh, again, it doesn't really matter anyway. Seems a nice enough bloke and that's what matters. Um, I like working with nice people. Don't like working with idiots. No time for them. 
at all. So, yeah, um, today, straight away, about quarter to seven in the morning, I'm mowing quarter to seven in the morning. Look, I've got no neighbours. Farmer, but farmers all but five or six, I know it. Um, and then I've, then I've, done a, uh, I've done a wildflower garden. I've, I've dug out a load of moss and had to really clean this area. Sprinkled it on, raked it on. And, oh, spring's coming. And it's amazing, you know. As a gardener who's waited all winter for this moment, it's a really exciting time of the year, spring is. Uh, to see what you can grow, to see if you can win. It's all about winning. Or trying to win, at least. They'll always win. I mean, last year, I got all my tomatoes growing beautiful. Sprayed them with this tomato fertiliser. Killed all the tomatoes. Gutted. No tomatoes last year. This year... Ain't going to spray them with nothing. They're going to get a water, and that's it. So, as always, time to let the beer breathe and, and see how, what flavours start to burst out. It's also nice to do a beer review when you're absolutely sober as well. I mean, we, we did a beer review of the um, the Imperial Stout the other day, but I was wrecked, <laughs> steaming, and uh, yeah. <laughs> I do have the same Imperial Stout up there, the whiskey barrel aged. Oh no, no, I did that. I did the, the Rioja. Kind of wish now that I'd bought the bourbon. If I'd have known the other two were going to buy a beer a bottle, I'd have bought the bourbon, and while well, they bought the Rioja and the whiskey, and I could have reviewed all three. I mean, I've got about 11 beer reviews coming on the uh, channel already um, from the actual tap room. So, yeah, I need to start chucking some Doc's Beers reviews out. Um, they'll get sick of me tagging them in at some stage, but, you know, it is what it is. You go to a tap room, you drink all their beers. Uh, the, 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 the fact of the matter is, at some stage... Um, it's going to be a lot of beer reviews. And uh, I've done a lot this week. Uh, I'm catching up now. I'm slowly getting, I'm getting rid of most of the extra stuff. Like pub reviews and beer haul videos. And whilst they don't do much for the channel at all, they promote the breweries and the pubs who I've frequented. And if those people post the reviews, if they like the reviews and post them, then it's then it's it's, it's an endorsement that um, that they enjoyed my review. Uh, not not every not every um, brewery or pub post you review and you do one. I don't tend to do re reviews now. If I've been there, if I've been somewhere once. Um, I do want to do, I am going to do a video about Lincolnshire and about um, where to drink in Lincolnshire because obviously Doc's Beers is absolutely up there to drink um, from a craft beer point of view, absolutely. And there's other places that I've earmarked and that I know about that I didn't go to but, I, but you know, just to press the point that uh, there's some amazing places to drink at. Not so many in Skegness, mind, but um, certainly one. Um, but yeah. Anyway, on with the beer. I would not know that was 7.4% in any shape or form. Um, not at all. i be honest, loving Doc's beers. Um, from the moment I saw the um, tap room on the internet, some of the videos they were showing, it was like, oh, I've, go, I've got to try and go there. It doesn't always work out, you know. You, you, we go on these, you know, these trips away, but obviously 
Mm. While we all like a beer, you know, the holiday isn't just about beer. Well, it tends to be these days. But <laughs> um, but obviously, I'm only one of one of a group of people, so I can't force my will onto them. Neither that I would either, you know. Um, but everybody went. Uh, Lisa was there, wasn't she? Glenn wasn't there. Yeah, Lisa was there. Pepper was there, my dog. Yeah, and everybody went and we had a good time. And it's that thing of going out and having a great time uh, at somewhere new. And, uh, you know, it was fantastic. Uh, lovely people behind the bar. Lovely food. So, like, the same people must be doing the food all the time in, out of that container next door. Which is great for them because it, it's a nice revenue for them. Good food. Didn't have any of the food. Now, I wish we did, really. Um, I'd, do, I'd have done a food review. <laughs> yeah, probably get hated by certain YouTubers out there. Feel like you're stepping on their territory. I don't care, mate. I'll do as I do. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, here we are. The more the air gets to it, the more powerful it starts to get. Um, really enjoyable beer. And again, still not getting no ABV whatsoever. I, if someone had said to me, is that a 4%er? I'd have said, yeah, it could be. Uh, I wouldn't say it was a 7.4%er. It's funny how some beers really hide their ABV. And others, you take one sip and it's like, oh, Jesus, that's strong. Um, the Whiskey Imperial Stout, which is on the shelf up here, that gives you a right kick in the, um, yeah. So, super enjoyable. Uh, a lovely West Coast IPA with a nice ABV. Um, this would sit well on any bar. And, and I do it, people on the channel, you know, you go to a pub near you, you've never seen it on the bar, say to them, why don't you get some of these in, some of these, these Doc's beers? Uh, it'd be nice to see, I, I'd like to see these in Nottingham. I don't know if any breweries or tech, uh, pubs will go on that. I'd love to see a tap takeover at the Crown Inn. The Crown Inn's an amazing pub. Uh, who do a lot of tap takeovers in the summer months. And these guys are certainly the sort of brewery that'd be interesting. I meet the brewer would be even more interesting. And uh, yeah, I'd get my backside down to that one. Um, but also from a from a point of view with Doc's beers, getting their beers in Nottingham and, and re reciprocating with some of the Nottingham breweries, doing collabs or something would be very interesting also. Um, but anyway. Cracking West Coast IPA, um, out of five, a good 4.4 out of five, and uh, really enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. See you soon. Cheers, everyone.